Hey, I'm Pavel. I'm a mixed media artist living in Brooklyn, New York. I just wanted to give you a little tour around my apartment slash studio um, of some of the work I've been working on in the last couple years. And uh, let's, why don't we start with this one? Um, this is a piece based on Round Hill Resort, Jamaica. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that, but it's, um, I was there a couple years ago, and so I, I created a scene based on um, sort of the outlook from the hotel there. And my work is, uh, it's mixed media, uh, which it's a combination of painting, collage, um, it's assemblage, so I'll paint elements and then I find different um, handmade papers or um, sometimes objects and I use old books, cut, um, cut out from old books things and then um, assemble it all together, creating um, a multimedia piece. Um, here's another one, um, this one also a multimedia um, painting up here and then a combination of some handmade papers and um, wallpapers. I like to use vintage wallpapers and then um, botanical books. I will find like old vintage botanical books and um, cut out elements from that and assemble it onto the canvas as well. Um, this is another one also made out of primarily paper. This one doesn't really have any um, paint on it at all. Sometimes I will do just straight up um, collage cutouts. Let's go in here and I'll show you a couple more. Um, this one, um, one of my favorites. It's uh, again also made out of like handmade wallpapers. Um, and you know, I, I would call my work figurative. I find I'll find like imagery of women. A lot of times I like to use um, vintage images of women from old magazines and sort of transform their meaning onto the canvas, like change the narrative, I guess, from traditional to a little bit more uh, like free and empowered. Um, let's see. Here's another fun one. Again, I took, I sort of shifted a narrative. I took a photo, uh, image of a woman from a catalog in the 1950s and modernized it, had her, had a naked guy playing guitar for her, which is something you just wouldn't see back then. But I, I love to do that to sort of surprise people and shift the narrative. Um, here's one of my uh, flag pieces, which is um, sort of the ultimate uh, women empowerment piece. It's about 150 different women from pop stars to scientists to politicians, um, musicians, um, artists and it's just a just you know I decided that since there was there had never been a woman on um, uh, money before that I would just exaggerate it and put every woman that I find iconic and put it on a flag together just making the statement that it's great to see women on money and maybe it'll happen one of these days um, and that's just one of my light boxes. I do these paper light box collages also. Um, this is straight paper assemblage and then it's lit with LED in the back. And those, I have a few of those, they're a lot of fun. And come on into my little studio, which is in the middle of my house, which <laughs> is kind of crazy. I have to walk through it no matter where I go. Um, and here's just a few things that are finished and then a couple things that I'm working on. Um, a lot of, uh, uh, as you can see, like figurative works with women, and that seems to be sort of my primary. You want to talk about the, the yeah. sheriff? Uh, I'm calling this series the sheriff, but like capital S H E, lowercase R I F F. So I, I basically I'm taking like very old photos of um, actually sheriffs from the 18, say 50s and 60s. Of course, they were all men at the time, and um, changing them into women, and it's just sort of a fun twist on like these the classic old like sheriff photos that you might see, you know, that you've seen in the past, sort of the sepia. Um, and these are all made out of like these pants are actually an old leather jacket I found in Idaho. I cut that up. Um, the badges, the sheriff's badges, are actually like real badges, and then it's made out of like a lot of like handmade papers, and the gold buttons are like some old buttons I found. So it's so, so I try to incorporate as much um, as I can, just like objects and things that that are relevant to like what's going on in the piece. Um, let's see. How about 
This was a part of a series that I did on um, uh, sort of mid-century modern, uh, sort of kind of a take on like the David Hockney uh, style of the pool. Like the actual pool water sort of comes very straight out of the David Hockney playbook. Um, and uh, again, like building this with all sorts of like wallpapers and then created her, the figure out of a lot of different like handmade papers and wallpapers. Um, added some paint and um, and painted in between all these. This is made of paper and paint. And um, that was part of a series. I have a few more of those as well um, in various galleries around. Um, let's see, any other ones you wanna talk about? This is one of my favorites right here. <laughs> Um, I made this on the week of Valentine's Day and uh, it's just sort of, I was reading a book that talked about um, relationships and how we put so much into our relationships these days in terms of expecting like way too much from our partners. So I kind of spoofed on the whole candy heart thing and um, you know, it says like, kiss me, call me, love me, complete me, save me. And so, it, and then she's like sort of pushing back on that. So that sort of got like a deeper message in like humorous way, I guess. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it in here. Uh, there's my paints. Um, these are the mediums that I use to hold everything together. It's basically like a very fancy glue, um, brushes. And, um, and then if you want to just take a little peek in my little closet here, <laughs> um, most people would have clothes in their closets, but I have, all these wallpapers and handmade papers and then over there are books um, that I will cut up and often put in the painting. These are actually my painting clothes in the painting closet. And then up there are a whole lot of fabrics that I've been using if you wanna pan over to this. Like I've been working a lot of these vintage fabrics in to um, the latest pieces and these are, these are bags of the fabrics up here and I get those Often I will get like clothes from thrift stores and cut them up or, or old curtains and things like that. It, it's a lot of fun. I love it. <laughs>